<clears throat> Hello ladies and gents, um, and welcome to this little video here on how to optimize your controls on Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. I assume you've already downloaded the game, so um, this little video here is going to be a small tutorial on how uh, you can adjust your controls to play as, you know, to your full potential set. So, let's get started. Um, the first thing you want to want to do here is, well, go right here to set video mode. And right here, you're going to be noticing the aspect ratio, the renderer, full screen, aspect ratio, all that sort of stuff. Um, and, the and the window size, if you decide to keep it in windowed mode. Personally, I go with OpenGL as a renderer. Most people have it in software, and they don't even know it. So, you know, when you switch renderer, you can restart to scroll tag, and then you can actually get it so that, you know, you can, um, how you say, you know, see the true colors and look up and down. So, aspect ratio again, 4 by 3 if you want, uh, you know, like a regular TV screen, or um, 1610 or 16 by 9 if you want sort of like a white screen, so you want it all over your screen, um, you could scale it to that. Full screen, you know, as it is, it's basically saying, do you want it to cover the whole screen? Enable 5 by 4 aspect ratio, uh, turn your aspect ratio to 5 by 4, I don't use it, I don't use any of this, I just keep it 6 to 8, fix 40 by 480 keep it open GL, you know, it's, it's a good option to keep your uh, computer running. So, we're going to go to display options now. This is the kind of thing you want to look at here, um, go to cap frame rate. If you have a slow PC, you might want to turn this option on, uh, to say yes, because it captures frame rate around 36 frames per second. Uh, it's not exactly the smoothest, uh, smoothest picture, but it's definitely a runnable picture if you have a slow PC. Uh, I don't really mess around with any of this. There's really no reason to. Uh, this is sort of stuff that goes for Doom, other Doom mods, since we're running on a Doom engine here. Um, you might want to go to HUD options and pick up your crosshair. Uh, crosshair is the little green thing I have in the middle of the screen. I think if you stare right in the middle, right around here, you can see it change. So it's cross one, two, cross one, there's none, and there's a simple dot, angle, angle, circle, and X. Uh, I use crosshair too. If you want to make your own crosshair, because these are, well, completely small, um, there is a tutorial on doing so. I could show you um, a forum link in the description for that. And stretch status bar, I don't really, you know, play around with the rest of this stuff. Screen size. Yeah, you can let you change around here. The weapon bar, I mean the health bar, and also this sort of thing here. You could, do, you could also change screen size with the plus or, um, minus key on your keyboard. Let's check G15, not sure what that is. I don't touch it. <laughs> Auto map, nothing really important there. Open Geo, really important thing here in texture options, aside from vertical sync and rendering quality. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory here, so you, know, you, could render, you could have it so that it runs as fast as possible or runs as pretty as possible. You go to texture options here, and here's a really important thing. Uh, this is where you can basically change how your game looks like in a sense. So here's texture filter mode. I have it in none map map because if I have it in none, you can see right there in the uh, blue section it gets a bit uh, pixely right there. And having it none mip map uh, kind of uh, how do you say smooths it out. And then you're gonna have to turn your anti drop <laughs> anti so how do you say that again? Anisotropic anisotropic filter to 16x. You know if you tape it off, you know it does get li little blurry. And again, again, if you turn it off, if you turn it 60x, it does get a bit pixely. But again, you can see the things a bit more clearly here. Texture format kind of changes the color scheme that you uh, use, I guess. Kind of similar to small differences in color here. I go with RGB8. It seems, uh, I don't know, it seems more colorful than rest. I mean, again, that's really not too important. There's barely any noticeable difference here. There's also RBG Bay, uh, RGBA 2, which makes the pictures a bit brighter. I just go with RGBA. Enable high res textures, sure you can keep that on. High quality resize mode. Oh yeah, that basically um, kind of makes your textures, how you say, a bit um, uh, a little bit blurry, smudgy. You know, if you're into that kind of thing here where you like textures that are a bit uh, watercolorish, you know, that's, that's your thing. Alright, resize textures of course, keep that on, resize spikes, keep that on, keep this on. I'm not sure about this, but I, you know, doesn't really seem to do much. And don't touch this, because if you turn it to no, yeah, you get a white screen. Okay, 
and now we're done with display options. So now you've mixed it so, you know, the game looks as how you want to look. Uh, here's a couple more options you might want to notice here, the sound options. This basically allows you to change the volume of the music and the sound effects that are playing so the weapons can sound very loud. Uh, it could be very helpful if you keep it loud so that you can hear your enemy's footsteps or when they jump. Uh, music volume, I keep it at low for the sake of this video. I usually keep it a bit higher because I like to play my custom music. Uh, custom music is going to be covered in a different tutorial video, or maybe a couple in the same video, I'm not sure. Underwater reverb, I might as well keep this on. Just keep this, um, how do you say, the same. Doesn't really help to mess around with this sort of stuff here. Yeah, with the advantage options, just keep it like that. Uh, compatibility with gameplay options, those are for game modes that we here at Mega Man 8 Bit Deathmatch don't give a flying shit about. Player setup, okay. So, you want to add color to your name? Well, it's not that difficult of a task. Here we have your name. The first thing you want to do here is control uh, forward slash C. Forward slash is right above the enter key. It's not below. It's not next to the shift key. It's above the enter key. I gotta repeat this. Full um, is that backslash C, and then you pick a random letter here between A through V. So I'm gonna use A. This will allow you to um, color your name. The uh, color code for A here is pink. So I mean, color code for pink is A. So here you see. Pink Brawl, which is the same. I do this. M is a color, uh, color code for black is M. Uh, black Brawl, or if you like red, C, uh, forward slash, pack slash, or is it forward slash? I don't know. Forward slash CG, Red Brawl, right there. Uh, you don't need to add any spaces, just keep it like in a run on sentence. And if you want to change um, colors in between names, you basically have to do the forward slash C thing again. C N blue. Uh, the color code for sky blue is N. The color code for blue is H. And then raw. I like to keep this name. And if you notice here, this is a custom skin. It's not actually a hack skin here. This is you know stuff we find in the forums. Uh, there's whole there's a whole uh, board um, in the forums dedicated to finding custom making custom skins and downloading them. So I have Christmas tree woodman. Chan! Holy crap! I might want to end up using the skin a little bit more. Um, I just used go with Colton. There's a lot of different skins here. Yeah, that's, that's quite a lot here. I'm just going through H, J, K, L, M, It's still at O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, R. It's still at R. Oh man, there's so many tech different skin uh, skins here for people to download. These here are errors. Uh, if you get something like that, it might be helpful to just delete the skin. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just have Shadow Hedgehog there. Sharkman, Shaman. What is that? Oh, Shaman. Shield attacker. Da 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 da. All those different skins. Uh, you can switch skins via your console just by typing in uh, skin and the name of your skin, um, and then just hitting enter after that to change your skin. Um, it's a bit more convenient than going to the player setup and then just uh, changing it. So if you know the name of your skin, you know you could do that. So I could just change like. Change skin Frieza right off the bat. Let's see. I'm gonna go to Colton. Where's Colton? Ah, oh, I have to sift through so many of these. So many of these skins. Class really doesn't change much unless you're playing um, Yellow Devil's Classes or King Yamato's Classes or any other classes mods such as uh, custom community classes. Uh, right now, the options are set between Mega Man and Random. I just go with Mega Man since it's Deathmatch or uh, other. Uh, you might want to keep it a Mega Man if you're you know playing anything that isn't a classes mod. Uh, if you're just playing vanilla, just keep it a Mega Man. Uh, gender, keep it at other. I keep it at other. Uh, you can show that you're a male, female, or just an it. I like to call myself an it. Keep this on. Always don't run. Uh, it allows you to run a lot fast. allows you to actually run. And most of you don't, don't seem to have a bit of a problem with that, so you guys are doing just fine with that. Don't touch the handicap. It actually cuts down your health here. Uh, if you feel that you're a very skilled player and you want to give yourself a bit of more of a challenge, uh, you could choose this handicap option to, um, you know, cut down your health to the... To, to the point you only have one HP. I just keep it at zero because I want to. Railgun color, that's irrelevant. Auto aim. Um, folks here, uh, keep it at always. It's always by default. And this allows people with, say, fast weapons such as Metal Blade and uh, Needle Cannon or Bass Buster to really get good shots of their opponents. But let's say that you're trying to anticipate a shot and that you're trying to hit somebody from across the stage with, um, I don't know, something like uh, Night Crush or. Um, Atomic fire. It's gonna be very difficult to shoot from long range with this thing. 
and sometimes difficult to even shoot by close range because again it's trying uh, the, the uh, skull tank is trying to anticipate the shots for you and you're not really anticipating your shots yourself you know I, I keep it a never because I have very high ping you know and it's easier for me to anticipate shots that way I keep on like on uh, I don't think people need to really need to change this this or this uh, there are announcer there are announcer packs you know they allow you to basically say three frags remaining or something like that I don't have any of those I think they were in the SGC demo version uh, if you want to get that uh, you can go past people in the forums for that and if you want to undo your, all your changes you could just hit that enter on that thing and you'll be fine okay gameplay options we already gone through that joystick if you have a controller like a PlayStation 3 controller you can mess around with that mouse options very important thing here pay a lot of attention because it's very important I see a lot of folks who actually don't aim how you say um, uh, up or down so what you want to do is enable uh, always mouse look keep this on and this basically allows you to uh, how you say uh, look up and down all the way up and down if you have OpenGL uh, up and down a little bit if you have software uh, rendering Invert mouse, I don't do that. Look spring, I keep this on. I keep look straight off. You know, if you want, you can copy to my settings here. Overall sensitivity, again, the sensitivity of your mouse every time you make a little movement. So, you know, yeah, I think everyone knows what that is. Turning speed, mouse look speed, backward speed, straightening speed. I, I really don't, you know, pay too much attention to that. So, if you want to mess around with this and try to configure it so that it's to your own liking, you're welcome to. Uh, I don't touch these things because I just, you know, don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, customize controls. As Slyfox Hound already showed you the basics, there's also a couple things you might want to pay attention to here. Um, if you want to do voting, or, you know, you can page up or page down. Uh, page up, page down. Inventory is a very important thing that you folks need to listen, look at here. Activate item basically allows you to activate your items such as Tango Roll, Bass Buster, W Tanks, E Tanks, anything that uh, you know you see next to your health bar. Um, it's very useful. Uh, activate all items. It activates all items with a simple key. I don't really use it. You know, I can't say you would want to use it. Uh, next item or previous item allows you to scroll between items. Um, simply like if let's say you want to switch all the way to uh, Tango Roll. But you already have like Bass Buster and W Tank, and it's showing you Bass Buster. You know, you could just use these keys right here. You could scroll around your items while you're playing uh, until you get to uh, the weapon you want, the item you want, like Tango Roll. And then you could just, you know, right click, um, yeah, right click right there uh, to activate it. Let's see. Uh, team Say, Say, I think you folks already know what this is. This allows you to chat. Every time you finish making a message, you press enter and it sends the message across the, across the server. Team say allows you to send messages to teammates, and only teammates. Uh, very useful thing in CTF or team modes, team last man standing. Run and strafe really don't do too much. Let's see here. No really need to uh, adjust this right here, since uh, we here at Mega Man but Deathmatch don't really play around too much with uh, flying or swimming. Uh, let's see here. Crouch. Slightly useful if the server allows you to crouch. Crouch toggle, same thing basically. Uh, jump, turn right, turn left. Uh, well, Sly Fox, I don't already went through this. Secondary fire is rarely used actually by um, some mods. I think a few mods, uh, classes mods tend to use this instead of activate item. Uh, this allows you to fire a second weapon if your class ha if your uh, class has it. Mega Man doesn't have a secondary fire or anything like that. Uh, classes do. I think the Mega Man class also has an alt fire, I'm not sure. Anyways, you already know the controls thanks to Firefox out, I don't need to worry too much about that. So we've already configured controls to your liking. Have fun. Oh wait, oh, I already went here. Why are there, wait, why is there two player sub tabs? Oh, alright. Well, there's nothing to worry about here. Uh, the stuff in multiplayer, I'm going to keep this for another tutorial here. Uh, I'll also teach you uh, how to use binds in a sense, so basically like that. And also spectate. Oh, I forgot to show you the other keys that are in the customized control section here. Uh, toggle auto map basically allows you to see a very basic version of the layout. See like that. Uh, what else? Chase cam allows you to play someone in a third-person perspective. So I'm going to go here, press chase cam, which is C, which I bind it to C. And watch me change my skin here. Freeza. 
Oh. Well, what do you know? Ah! Oh, man's like, well, oh, interesting. I just keep it at Colton then. Let's see here. Sonic? Oh, I have Sonic. Skin, Colton. There you go. Change your, change your uh, skin right there. And if you want to access the console, you just press the tilt key, which is right next to the number one, and right above the tab key on the top left corner of your keyboard. It's right below escape, too. Okay, so. Bam. Hit bass. Of course, third person perspective here through chase cam. Uh, really not that helpful because you can't really see what you're aiming at directly. <laughs> yeah, it's. You know, it would be helpful if it was right above you, and it could show you, you know, what you're aiming at, like right, right above there, but, yeah. That's skull tag for you. Okay, so we got that. Skin. Colton. Turn chase cam off, let's see. I have bound to see, I think it might be bounded to another key, or it's unbinded, better yet, by default. Add a bot, I don't really need that, and you don't really need that either, unless you're like a server host. Um, Co-op Spy basically allows you to, how you say, look through uh, the perspective of another player on the server here. So I'm going to press F12 and you can see Proto Man, what he's doing. Just, you know, in the bottom of the stage, basically doing nothing except jumping around. And he's waiting for me, or he seems ticked out, I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, screenshot, folks already know how to do this. It's actually a print screen button, but it says system requirement because, you know, just because. Show score is very uh, very useful button uh, button here. It's the forward slash key or the backslash key. Uh, it's above the enter key. It's a slash above the enter key and below the backspace key. Allows you to see the score. Um, doesn't usually allow you to see deaths. Usually that's replaced by ping on multiplayer servers. So, you know, you can see the latency of other players and how long you've actually been kind of playing in minutes. Okay, so I know, I know, Proto, you just gotta wait a bit. Texas Spectate allows you to you know, turn into a spectator mode. So, you know, I keep that bound to P. It's very convenient here if you're in a, an, an elitist dual server and basically people are telling you to spectate because there's some sort of turning tool going on. You know, if you have common courtesy, you could just, you know, have it bound to P and then boom, you're in spectators. And then the players can join and they can have the turny duel and they can do the dick waving and I could just give it less of a crap. You know, that kind of thing. Ah. And taunt. Uh, I think there's only one mod, and I think that's King uh, Yellow Devil's Classes mod that uses taunt. Taunt. It plays a bit of an audio file that you know, it's like sort of like a taunt. Um, you should, if you want, uh, you could go play Yellow Devil's Classes. Download the taunts pack. They should have a tutorial on how to install those taunts. Not really sure though. Open console. I already showed you that, and this is relevant. So once you have all those settings up. You can finally get the most out of your control in Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch, so watch me here. Uh, yeah, that's where the scroll, something that uh, Sly Fox Town already showed. Activate items here, boom! So, Tango. Ooh, you can get Trouble Senti, very good, uh, very good homing weapon here. Use, uh, item 1 here to get to the W tank. And then get to the Trouble Sentry. Whoop! There you go. Let's see here. Get Tango again because we can. Let's go up between items to see which item you feel like using. So I'm probably gonna end up using a Trouble Sentry real quick. Super Adapter, very good, uh, very useful, uh, how you say, item here. And oh, shoot this guy down. There you go. Good, good wolf. Good, you did good. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna go on ammo for my Thunderbolt so I can usually use my W tank here. Bam, keeps it full. Double tangle roll because I can. And switch to Super Adapter, which replaces your Mega Buster. Uh, Bass Buster and Proto Buster. Uh, also, a uh, Proto Shield, I'm sorry, actually replace your Mega Buster here. And you really can't change back to your Mega Buster until you die and respawn. It's kind of strange. And aside from that, uh, there's really nothing you need to worry about now. for now. So, if you've seen, already seen the tutorial on how to join servers, uh, you could easily, how you say, uh, uh, get into any server you please. Start shooting. Uh, oh man, I should really teach you folks about the different kind of weapons there are and how useful they are in some situations. Uh, okay, come on. There you go. Just using the ground here to my advantage and basically chipping away at Proto Man's health. Or you can just shoot directly at him. It does the same amount of damage, basically. Whoop. Oh, I 
Do I have my gummy tank with me? I don't. Oh god, get away from me. Ah. Oh. Awesome. Alright folks. Hope to see you on the servers.